Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to explain you how we can validate the data for weekly payroll of US employee. So let's just move on to the test case scenario for this session and then we will move on to the application, how we can perform this task. So this is the test scenario case. Joseph is a US one legal entities employee and he is the director of payroll. We are going to run his weekly payroll and we are going to input the element which is a bonus element and it is a user input and it's, cal it's uh, calculated like regular salary plus uh, bonus attached with the regular salary and we are going to give $100 bonus as a bonus amount and then it provide the final result we have on the tab is a 1638 because 1538 is a regular salary for uh, of the employee joseph and we are going to assign the hundred dollar as a bonus amount and this is the expected results so let's just move on to the application and perform this validation and let's check how it's going to calculate and if our data is calculated or not properly so let's just move on to the application here under the my client group just scroll down click on the show more option here you find the simplified quick pay and then go to the advanced search option here under the person number option uh, fill the person number and find the employee just click on his name so this is the quick pay uh, page so here you have you can see here various elements are already assigned to this uh, uh, employee with dental em uh, employer and the dental pre tax, the legal post tax, and these are the amount. So let's just assign one element here. Just search for the element which is a bonus pay. And then click on the continue option. Just scroll down under the amount field. Fill the $100 amount in the amount field. Just click on the submit option. So our element is attached to the employee. Let's just click on the submit option to run the payroll. So it's processing now, it takes a little bit time, so we just wait for it, for the final result. Okay, so this is the statement of earning, just click on the earning. Here you can see the element which is assigned to this employee, the $100. Okay, and let's just go to the report option here. You can see other details also, the pre-tax deduction of the employee. And if you are willing to see more specific details, so just click on the show detail option. And here you can see the more specific details of every element, the employee tax deduction, the pre-tax deduction, the other deduction and the employer contribution also. So this is the statement of earning of the employee. So let's just move on to the report option and download this uh, to the actual and then compare with the expected output and see the variance uh, variations if any variation are there so let's just see the variations okay so let's just move on to the reports and just move on to the another tab yeah just go to the navigator 
and find the tool here and under the tool you have reports here reports and analytics just click on it here just on the right top side of the page you can see here the browse catalog option just click on it just wait for a minute okay so under the share folder and then go to the custom folder here and find my data and then go to the otbi reports here if you just click and uh, scroll down the reports name here you can see the payroll element audit report just open it and here search by the name of the employee you just select it and then click on okay and then okay so now we are going to see all the element reports and all the attached element with this employee are visible here uh, the bonus pay element we allotted to the employee and the input value here you can see here for uh, if you want to export this into the excel just click on the export option and then click on the action Just wait for a while. It completed now. Just click on it. Okay, so you can see here the uh, element classification, the element name, the input value. So this is the uh, input uh, value and the element we associated with the employee. so let's just validate with the expected results so uh, let's just copy only this uh, element detail and now i'm going to posting this on the payroll report we created uh, like here okay so this is the let's give the name to this as a hcm output okay so let's uh, see the variance for the expected output and the um, hcm output okay so here let just create the formula select the cell and then let just minus by the hcm output okay so you can see here the result we get is a zero means our data is validated now same you can see here most of the data like the legal post tax if you again move on to the Uh, employee element page here just click on the show detail option okay so it's downloading now so just fit okay so here you can see all the element detail here the legal post you can see here so you can also validate these data just the way i validated the bonus pay which i associated with the employee so this is the simplest way how we can associate the data of the hcm output or our expected output and see the variation variations of both of the results so i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching the video